Hello all, it's the Duty Paid here again, and today we are going to look at the VTech Baby Laptop. I like music. Don't we all? Now, what I was going to do is not do a review of the VTech Baby Laptop, because this device has been out quite a while. Um, I do plan to do a bit of circuit bending. Now, if you're not too sure what circuit bending is, it's basically um, putting components onto a device to change the output. And then I will then advance this by putting it through a guitar pedal, which I'll show later. So I picked this up in the charity shop for two English pounds, which is quite good because it even comes with batteries. And uh, AA batteries are getting quite expensive at the moment. Seems to be a bit of a rattle in there. Not a baby's rattle, but uh, we will have a look at that. Now, first job is, um, in the words of uh, Sheldon from Big Bang, this is awfully sticky. Um, I think it might have been wiped with something, but it just... Babies, oh, if, uh, lucky I've not been around too many babies, but you can imagine. So, a good little tip. Got some alcohol, um, not the drinking kind, and some... Uh, water and the alcohol is isopropyl and the water is uh, oh god not disinfectant the word has eluded me for a moment um deionize and that's it so what i always do is take a squirt of water a couple of squirts of water and one of alcohol now if you give that a whiff that should be good and let's give this a quick clean now with that all uh, a little bit cleaner we will now have a look at the toy itself now, as i say it comes with batteries Nothing happens when you lift the lid, but if you turn it on... It's my home computer. My first laptop is so fun, it's made just for me. Learning all about my home, come along and see it. I like music. So it goes into the intro bit, and then if we lift the lid... I like music. It will play the I like music again. So, um, this should be fairly fun to hack. There's no keyboard on here, I don't believe. Let's just sort of run through what it has got. Currently in music mode, and if you do the uh, mouse, you can see the LEDs go in the said direction. The uh, computer mouse reminds me of the old um, IBM ThinkPad with the... Uh, built-in mouse and now uh, press some buttons hopefully these don't have a copyright strike with a knick-knack paddy-whack give a dog a bone this old man came rolling home so um, it plays general nursery rhymes, which you can uh, intercept already with uh, a bit of sort of bit of inbuilt circuit bending. Let's explore function. I like bouncing the ball. Bouncing balls. Let's read a book. Always good literature um, in the early adolescence. I'm hungry. Nom nom nom. Let's read a book. Nom nom nom. I'm hungry. Let's 
seems to be our... Bath time is fun. Bath time is fun. It is. Yeah. That is a square. And the yeah. moon. Now, it's my home computer. Oh, it has a third volume. the music. This is a bit stiff, especially for a young child. Oh, the ears shattering that. It is. Okay, so uh, let's crack this open and see what we're dealing with. Okay, we uh, flip this bad boy over like now with any laptop. Best to remove the uh, battery first. So I have my handy dandy Mega Pro and uh, let's go for a wide bit. It says use a coin, but most people don't own screwdrivers nowadays. Oops. Chuck that to one side. And we got a couple of the old uh, dual cells in here. Very handy dandy. Now these are about a pound each, so I probably made my money back just in a couple of old screwdrivers. Now let's have a look. Phillips. So we will swap out the head. Go for a suitable Phillips bit. That one seems adequate. A bit of jam going on. Okay, maybe fast forward this. Okay, and that seemed to be more screws than absolutely necessary. Not much in this unit at all. Seems to be a, a couple of circuit boards, probably with membrane switches under. And then you have uh, this board, which seems to be the uh, brains of the beast, where the uh, main CPU is located in this laptop. Let's uh, find the screws here, change these out, or take them out, Oops, I've lost the screw in the system, we will recover that in a second. Okay, Oops, seems to be a bit, sorry, bump the camera, seems to be a bit wedged down. Let's Leave this up carefully. There we go. Pop goes the weasel. Okay. Seems to be a. That would explain the rattle. The loose bit just sculling around. Have to see where that comes from. Let's just remove this screw down here so we can get the board out that was attached to the mat come on with you
Okay, let's have a look what's on the other side. Now, due to the fact I can't get the camera any lower, hopefully we can uh, view this together. So, what we have here, a rather dirty uh, contact point, and that was for the uh, pseudo mouse, and the si slide switch. So it's had quite a bit of action. And then we have uh, membrane buttons for the main thing. So the mouse would have gone contact point. Ah, probably with the uh, through the slider, through the slider going back round to the ground, or even ground effect going back round. Probably the other way. Slider here across the contacts and uh, a fuse here as it says on the board so we've got moon circle and enter for the ones down there and then we have a potted chip and that could be anything and that would be a really cheap one of the onboard threaded ones um, varying resistors which is always interesting and then the output to Got a small transistor there with a cap, probably act as a small amplifier going round to the speaker, which is a uh, that's an eight ohms, half a watt, and then a switch for the power. And then we have a small board here which goes up. Ah, and a connector to the LEDs behind the screen. So that's literally all that is contained in here. So now what we need to do is well, we will have a clean this board up just to get all this fluff off it, which we can do now. Electrical points you can do with just uh, bare alcohol. It always has for probably the the uh, electrolytic grease on there just so it can go around and as you can see that is a bit manky how that got through underneath there around there and onto the contact point you will never ever know and give these as well Really turn it over. Oh, it's coming off in clumps. That's that's 100% genuine baby there. I might as well clean these out as well. What is that? Some kind of fluff stuck in there? Mmm. Straight into the bin. So let's have a look. Looks like we've got a uh, dislodged spring on the mouse, which we will uh, flick around. And on the board, we have these points. Now, what I've done is I've waited for a few components, mainly so I can put a line out, which is very common. I've got a few pots now. I'm done a throw in this to try pitching, and also looking up circuits based around the uh, 555 timer. See if I can do a few effects. And where did I put it? Back in the day, I used to play guitar quite a bit. Not much, so much anymore. And I have this Zoom 505 effects pedal, which basically takes input. And there's total four effects, nine at once, 24 programs, auto chromatic tuner, eight types of distortion, and amp simulator. So this will go into this and then go into a little speaker. So that's the start of a project. <laughs> and uh, we will see how it goes. Okay, so uh, let's crack on to uh, video two once I get components. Hope you enjoyed watching this. 
if you could subscribe to me and uh, watch a few more of my videos before February the 20th or I will be demonetized and that would be really cool so until next time I'm a duty paid this is kind of baby's first laptop circuit bending take care goodbye